Be right back. Finally, my hair is gone. On a serious note, do not use a grinder to cut your hair. You're gonna have a bad time. Anyway, let's finish the fuel tank, get it in the car, all welded up, plumbed in, wired up, start the car, hopefully. <laughs> No more procrastinating. I think I've got to weld it all up and pressure test it. I can't think of anything else I need. Let's put some tunes on. Get the welder in the gear and uh, have at it. Oh, 45 minutes of welding. Not too bad for an amateur. Need to get my transitions a bit better. And uh, when I go over the tack welds, maybe I need to tack weld a bit better. That'd be a good idea. Uh, haven't done the back panel yet. I'm still afraid to do that because that means it's actually like on um, but both sides are done gonna do this top piece all the bottoms done and then just the back panel I'm gonna give my uh, poor welder five minutes and give this a couple of minutes to cool down and then back to it
back panel. I think the time has come. Also, absolutely pants myself on that one. <laughs> Lesson learned, I've done it on the others. Right, last bit, and then it's time to pressure test it. Right, this is as janky as I could do it. <laughs> I have a tire, I have dropped it down to roughly seven PSI. I've got a piece of an old um, uh, brake bleeder kit that I've cut up and I've taped onto here. And now I'm spraying juice all over it. So far, it's only these things that have, uh, that have shown up. So I need to, uh, need to redo these, I think. But so far the seams are looking good. That one's that one's that one's bubbling. So is that one. All the seams are looking good. That's still going, so I know I've still got air in it. <laughs> I should put this on the floor. You couldn't even see that. <laughs> that one and that one. So far, the rest is looking good, though. And these two. Basically, the first ones I've done. Oh, and that one. And that one. <laughs> I'm pleased with that. <laughs> that is easily fixable. There it is, pressurizing. Don't worry, there's only like nothing PSI in this. <laughs> I think I put about eight, didn't you? It's only about that much. <laughs> so it's fine. And I've got my, uh, the only issue I had really was these things. And around here. Still a tiny little, uh, Pinhole, right there. Damn it. But the rest is all okay. No bubbles. I have to um, do a small run up here because he was leaking down in the corner and then I was chasing a, uh, a hole. <laughs> so now it's all good. That's really annoying. That's like the smallest pinhole in the world. Not a problem. The rest of it's all sealed. So we're all good. That's the fuel tank snorted. It's like, I think it's 1am. 1 1 <laughs> I've, uh, I've gone overboard tonight with this, but I wanted to get it done. And um, I only had about three or four leaks all on those um, little tabs that I made, probably because the ends weren't clean. I should have cleaned the ends up when I uh, before I put them in. And there were two leaks on the actual runs themselves. So my welding was pretty good. I'm blaming the uh, I'm blaming the tabs for the bits that I can't work out, and 
that is uh, that's that, that that's not my fault either. <laughs> So all in all, about seven really tiny leaks, not not a problem at all. We can work on that uh, fuel tank top now, the uh, the sender unit, <laughs> and um, hopefully it's ready to uh, rock and roll. Right, I've left it overnight. Let's see if there's air still in it. Oh, hell yeah. That is very good news. Now we need to clean, because <laughs> it's minging. There's the fuel pump assembly done. Drill two holes, one for the plug. One for the feed, wired the plug up to my four cables, wired the feed up to my pipe, oh, and just tied it all neatly together. Now I'm going to put my rubber gasket, whatever it is, my rubber gasket, and now we can go in. the arrow forward and then I've got a pack of aluminium bolts and washers to tie it down there it is all in um, these are sealed by some fiber washers not fiber washers they're like PVC washers this is sealed with some um, grease and an o-ring and it's held on with a clip inside and we're sealed around here, so hopefully there'll be no leaks. One thing I do want to check is can I still get a fit in on that with that bolt in the way? Yes, just. <laughs> anyway, this would be ready to go, but I made a mistake the hole for the uh, filler was too close to the vent so I blocked the vent up and I'm gonna drill it a bit further away and uh, I'm waiting on another pipe the right size to, to fit it and I'll weld it in it shouldn't take too long it's really quite quick and easy to do so I'll drill it get the hoover in <laughs> and hoover all the stuff out and then I've got my vent as well as my fill I've got my feed I've got my pump supply and the return on the back and there it is in the car so we've got the fuel feed comes out down around there I'm gonna have to find some P clips or something to um, tie that up and under the car and down here I gotta cut this out because <laughs> I haven't quite got enough room. I'm waiting for a fit in for this so it can go off to the big pipe that's down there somewhere. That big pipe. <laughs> I've also changed the fuel filter. It's 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 there somewhere. In the dark. There it is. So I've changed the fuel filter so that's nice and clean. I got my feed and return going into it. The return is waiting for a fit in, the feed is waiting for a P-clip. Um, then we've got to look at the filler and the breather. So if I get the standard focus one right here, so that sits in the hole like that, or sort of like that. Like that. Notice there's a there's a hole down the bottom there, and it lines up with a hole in the rubber mount there. 
and that will line up with the filler there. Uh, they could do a little crossover and I've got to weld them up, but I'm going to use the standard focus rubber filler, cut it to the size I need. I'm going to put the non-return valve in the end here when I get one and just feed that over to this one right here. And then we've got a standard filler. So that's everything apart from the wiring. Now what I'm going to do with the wiring, I think is if you remember a couple of episodes ago, I bypassed the, what is normally a fuel module unit in that little hole there. Uh, but I think I'm going to cut it there and put a plug on it and then have a separate loom that goes through the hole there under the car follows the fuel feed line down here and then up into my plug well it's going in now <laughs> too late if there are any leaks now uh, I'm not doing that yet because I want to I want to test it all, make sure it's okay. So I've just plugged two leads in to the two leads over there, to the two cables over there that I need to plug my new battery in. And let's go turn it over, see if it works. Oh, so, the pump's working. Hopefully we don't have many leaks. All looks okay so far. A bit whiny. Still not happy. Okay, try again. I accidentally put the pump spinning the wrong way. Uh, I'll show you why in a bit, just because that stupid plug I've got on the top is actually labeled incorrectly. <laughs> Either way, hopefully it'll go this time. Ain't very happy. I actually think it's getting too much fuel. <laughs> <laughs> right before we carry on uh notice how the pump sounded different in each clip that's because it was running backwards in the second clip and that's why it wouldn't start obviously pump runs backwards no fuel no fuel, no, no run. <laughs> so what had happened is I had wired up that plug on top of the fuel tank like this. So A and B on the plug underneath was for the gauge and C was pump positive, D was pump negative. So that was gonna be my supply for the pump. The trouble is, as I'm going to explain to you now, uh, the, the A, B, C, D, on the plug for the car, so that's the one outside of the tank, isn't act, doesn't actually correspond with the same letters. So what had happened is when I was playing about with my little uh, crocodile clicks and, and stuff like that, I managed to get it the right way around somehow the first time. And then when I went to do it again after checking for leaks, I managed to swap C and D over somehow, but it was C and D outside. So it ended up running backwards. That's why it wouldn't start. So the moral of the story is always check that your plugs, the inside plugs and the outside plugs actually wire up correctly. Otherwise you might end up running your fuel pump backwards and causing untold damage. Anyway, here's the bit of the video that shows me actually 
working that out. <laughs> so the issue that I had uh, wiring it up was, I don't know if you can make these out, A, B, C, and D. So they correspond, oh, I just noticed that look in the dirt. <laughs> so they don't actually match up. If you look at that, that's D, it goes to B. That is C, goes to C. That is B, goes to D. A must also go to A, but I can't work that out. It looks like E. So that's how I messed it up. And I think the reason it's running not very well is because I was using these little clips. They were getting hot and I don't think it was getting the current it needed. So I'm gonna make the wiring loom now from thicker cable and uh, try again. <laughs> Right, there's my new loom running over there somewhere. It's only taped together a minute because it's gonna go under the car and like I said earlier, um, but I'm gonna test it now to make sure everything is okay. That's better. temporarily um, plug the fuel gauge in so hopefully now with some ignition it'll do a little dance and then come up to about probably about quarter full hopefully and nothing works <laughs> please hold try again I uh, left them open like that <laughs> so I closed them up a bit let's uh, let's, let's, let's try it again <laughs> Done now to the right side, so hopefully. Oh. Hey! <laughs> Just under a quarter of a tank. Excellent! Well, there ain't nothing wrong with that now. <laughs> that's, that should have plenty of fuel because that's a 455 litre per hour fuel pump. I think it's a, a wine bro, so it's bound to be a bit noisier, but it's gonna be outside of the car. Hopefully I won't hear it in here. Uh, I do have fuel leak at the rail now because I think it's got too much, um, too much running through it. Or maybe it's just residue from last couple of weeks not running it, I don't know. I don't know, we're gonna have to look into it. I don't think it's a major problem anyway, um, because they are new seals. So maybe they just need a bit more um, lubricant on them, a bit more silicon. I don't know. We'll, we'll come to that another time when I'm bothered about fixing it. For now, the uh, the fuel tank seems to be a success. I'll plumb it all in properly, as in put all the um, uh, clips and the sheath in over the cables and, and all that and route the cable in properly when I pull the back end off to do all the welding. That is up next, I think, but that sounds good. I like the noise it makes. <laughs> Right all, that's it for today. Uh, bit of a success, I think. Fuel tank has worked out quite well. As long as I can sort that filler pipe out correctly and the breather, that's another thing ticked off the list. And that set that I've got in that fuel tank should last me uh, oh, plenty more upgrades for now. Thanks for watching. Go and follow me on all these social media platforms. Be a total legend. You never know what you might learn. <laughs> but that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please come back again next time. Like and subscribe and share this video to all your friends and family. I'm done. Until next time. Ciao.